welcome. This is our Tuesday, December 12th sandbox meeting. Emily, take it from here. All right. Hello again, everyone. Um, so we've got a ton of projects in the sandbox upcoming queue that we'll be looking at today. The first four are returning projects, so hopefully we can get through them fairly quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with Kate's GPT. Um, this project applied back in May of this year at the time of application. Um, we felt that the project was a little bit too early phase. There wasn't a lot going on in the ecosystem. We didn't have a good understanding of their impact or um, integration potential. Um, so we asked them to wait a couple of months, uh, do some more socialization, and then come back to us. Since then, uh, they have. There's a couple of talks from TAG Observability Meeting. Uh, Kate's GPT is actively involved in the AI working group that is uh, co-run under TAG Observability and TAG Runtime. Um, so this one is just a, a quick check-in with the project to understand whether or not we feel that they are ready for inclusion within CNCF. And I will open it to discussion. They've certainly got a lot of contributors, at least, um, I mean, not, 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 not particularly active, but a fair, well, a fair number of them, I mean, lots of, but lots of single contributors. So I think it's we uh, passed the bar for sandbox of general interest, looking at the contributions. Yeah, I think it's grown quite a bit. There seems to be an interest there. I wasn't able to really determine like, how it will sustain for longevity though like what kind of model they're going to be running where are they capturing data how are they keeping in private like all of that will need to be addressed if they were to actually take this project into graduation but as a sandbox project i think it's fine for experimentation and also a great project that we should be working with the ai working group you know because this is going to become more common so um, i think they've done a good job since june and in, in getting momentum behind it yeah any other thoughts opinions nope are we comfortable moving this one to a vote yeah all right excellent Eight. added the vote moving on oh. yeah i wanted to say they've also added a bunch of community internal documentation which is a really good sign excellent all right next up is spider pool um, spider pool applied back in March. Um, we had a needs information request for the project, asked them to prevent tag network. Um, they also presented at KubeCon North America and Lin Sun provided a recommendation, um, from the project with a write-up and spider pool went through and provided updates to their documentation. Um, to talk through a little bit more around their integrations and address Lynn's additional comments and concerns. Do we feel that we've had enough information from the project to make a decision for sandbox inclusion? And are there any questions? I see a thumbs up from Justin. Thumbs up from Duffy. Okay to move this one to a vote? Yes. Excellent. Spider pool, let's move it to a vote. Hooray. Easegrass, also returning a tag network. Uh, Easegrass is a cloud native traffic orches orchestration system. They applied back in April. Um, Matt had provided them some comments. We wanted them to present to tag network and uh, we asked about the IP and trademark implications for donations. Um, they're okay with that. Looks like they had their presentation on Thursday the 10th. Um, and Lynn provided a comment and they recommended included into the CNCF as a sandbox project. Questions, concerns, comments? Nope. Ready to move this one to a vote? All right. Easegrass, let's move it to a vote. Next up, Cube Stellar. This is also a returning project from March of this year. It's a multi-cluster configuration to, uh, project for Edge. Um, we asked them to present at a tag runtime meeting. They did that. 
Uh, let's see here. What is... Yeah. One of the other changes is uh, Cube Stellar has a hard dependency on KCP. And between the original presentation and now KCP has been contributed to CNCF. Okay. Well, um, and I asked the project specifically to make sure there wasn't a hard dependency in there, and I believe they have addressed that as well, Josh. So okay, yeah. either way they're good. So either way they're good, but I think it not having that dependency is pretty important for its ability to to move to the next levels. And I gave that feedback directly to the contributors on there, and I think they've made the appropriate changes. Okay. Any questions, comments, concerns for this project? Ready to move to a vote? Excellent. Cube Stellar, done. All right, those are the four returning ones. Those are complete, ready to go to a vote. Let's get started on Kraken. Um, Kraken is the chaos and resiliency testing tool for Kubernetes uh, with a focus on evaluating performance under load and scale. Did any TOC members take up this project to do a little bit of research and understanding on it or any TAG co-chairs with insights onto this project to help inform a decision? Uh, well, one major issue from the last review was that it wasn't clear which repositories they were actually contributing and they did separate them out into a separate org. Other comments associated with this project? They did also come speak and present at TAG app delivery. And TAG at the time gave approval pending the what Josh just mentioned. Yeah, this is the comment. So they had some value proposition, roadmap community, outstanding questions. So it looks like they had good feedback from that meeting. Yes, it was well received. Does the tag have a recommendation? Uh, Emily, just just a question. Didn't we cover this one already last time? I think. It, it sounds really familiar, but it's still in our queue. So I don't know that we actually made a decision on it. There's there's a comment from Amy asking about clarification about the repos that were being contributed. Yeah, it never moved to vote. Because yeah. of the the because of the unclarity about what was being contributed, right. Exactly. So this is a return, basically. Yeah. There there was also vendor specific things that they needed to remove. So after they did both of those things, uh, tag recommendation is that they are approved. Okay. However, I'm, I'm tech lead, so if you need. <laughs> Uh, are we comfortable moving this one to a vote or does the TOC have any outstanding questions? I see a thumbs up from Duffy. Others? Thumbs up from Justin. All right. Kraken moves to a vote. Wasm mock server. Justin, you're assigned this one. Why yeah, don't you talk it, us through it? It's not ready. It's very early. Too early. We should send them back. It's like eight, nine commits. Concur. And any others? Josh? It's is it still just the one person? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Justin, can you provide the comments on the application with next steps for the project um, so that they can return at a future date? Yep. Awesome. Thank you. Wasmock server is not moving to a vote. Um, they have some time that needs to pass and some more commitments and community building activities. Justin Cormack is going to be providing that comment back to the project. Next up, Cubian. Any TOC member uh, pick this one up, do a little research on it, and would like to talk about it? Okay. Uh, Cubian is an open source Kubernetes lifecycle management operator based off of CubeSpray. Um, reading through the comments associated with this project, they did get feedback from a uh, CubeSpray maintainer about how Cubian would be a good ecosystem project for CubeSpray, um, which kind of raises a question that I have and something that we've talked about in the past since this is an operator, um, whether or not it's prudent to have this project go and socialize with a cube spray for potential inclusion, um, as it, historically we don't usually add operators to sandbox projects. 
or graduated projects for that yeah. matter. I'm, like, I, sorry, go ahead, Josh. No, no, no. Uh, go ahead. No, I had the same feeling is that typically we haven't included any of them very intentionally for years now. And I don't think this necessarily pushes the precedence to reconsider that uh, decision that we've done in the past. I do think it's super useful. I just don't think it stands alone as a project. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I went through to the end of the queue, um, including a lot of stuff we won't review today, looking for governance documents for all the projects. And one of the things I noticed, there's a fair number of operators in the queue. At some point, the TOC is going to need to come up with some guidelines around what is the, you must be this high to ride for, for operators. That is what, how much, basically, you know, how much project there has to be for an operator to be potentially an independent project versus saying, oh, hey, you should really join the project you're an operator of. I think that's a sound activity that the TOC can engage in. Josh, would you file an issue on the TOC repo to that effect so that we can track we'll that work? Thank you. Um, is there a TOC member that would like to provide comments back to the QBN project to that effect? Based I'll off of Aaron's yep. Ricardo? Yeah. I can provide a comment to them because they present an intact runtime. Okay. Um, I will assign that to both of you. Give me one second. What, what, what comment about the operators? Uh, Strinzy is another project that is a Kafka operator. I think it's already in Sandbox. So also keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right, uh, Ricardo Roca, I assigned it to you, uh, Ricardo Aravena, if you could add a comment on there as well. Um, QBN is not going to a vote. All right. Josh, regarding um, the comments for Rook and Strimzy, if you could also provide those as examples in the issue when you file it so that we can ensure that we're considerate of those exceptions or uh, criteria for size. All right. Next up is coordinator. Is there a TUC member that uh, assigned themselves to this to do a little bit of research on, provide any insights and understanding? I was going to swear this is also a return, but maybe not. It sounds familiar. Yeah. We also presented in Jack Runs by the quality of service for Kubernetes worker. Okay. I, I, think, I think they're, they're I mean, I haven't done a lot of research on the contributors and the growth of the project, but. I think that might be a good candidate for that box. Okay. Um, one of the comments, uh, Ricardo, that you had on here was that there was a little bit of doubt on with regarding how it fits into the CNCF and the Kate's ecosystem. Um, were you able to receive enough information for clarity on that? I'm, I'm actually on. <laughs> so, um, uh, can you say that, that comment again? Um, the comment that you have on the application is that there was a doubt with regarding how they fit into the cloud native ecosystem. Did you receive information to provide clarity for that? Oh, I don't think, I don't think, um, yeah, I think we got information on that. It doesn't look like they actually presented at any of the tags. After, even though that was a request, it did present, but I wasn't in. I, I was not present in that presentation. So, uh, go back to the tag run time. We didn't know. Okay, so for this project, because it doesn't sound like we have quite enough information, we need to consolidate and pull some stuff together. Um, what I will do is. Um, Ricardo Aravena, I will assign this one to you. If you could provide a comment or an update with a summarization within the next, uh, let's say, give it a week. Um, and if there is sufficient information, we'll uh, move it to a vote. But until then, if there isn't and we still have outstanding requests um, for information from the project, we'll return it back to them. 
Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, make sure I comment on here. All right. Uh, actually, in the in the uh, comment section for this coordinated party, uh, there's a comment from from Kubernetes six scheduling um chair, and he said, you know, it involves it, it, it makes more sense um, to be a standalone sandbox project. Yep. Thanks, Kathy. So for this one, what we're um gonna wait for feedback from tag runtime based off of that presentation that occurred before we make a decision on next steps for this project. All right, next up. Oh, I'll, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll you for Kairos as well, because it looks like the, it looks like there was a presentation, but I'm not seeing any, any result of that presentation in the, in the issue. I only saw the presentation for the conferences. I didn't, unless I missed it for the Kairos, I didn't see the presentation directly to the, anyone in the CN. Oh, yeah, it has the tag runtime meeting recording on the 20th of September, but no output from that. Yeah. Yep, sorry, missed that part. We probably should get a summary from tag yeah, runtime. I, I, I think, yeah, I think Kairos is pretty mature for a template. So they're a framework to um, create a special purpose operating system. They're not okay. a special special purpose operating system per se, but, uh, but it's like a framework and uh, they, they do have a quite a bit of traction, so I think for sandbox. I I can write something down there uh, a comment. I do think Josh brings up a good point about licensing around forking a specific Linux distro to make this happen. If that's part of their actual implementation, that should be a consideration that we take into account. They have a comment response here on it not forking any specific Linux distribution. Okay. It does look like all the maintainers are SpectraCloud. does look like they're doing active work on it. Which for Sandbox is not a prohibited nope. thing to not have. Problem, but, yeah. Yep. So would we like to have a comment from TAG Runtime based off of that meeting, or are we comfortable with the information presented herein to move this to a vote? I'd actually like a comment from Okay. Any others? Okay, so we skipped coordinator. We're on Kairos. Yep. Okay, just checking. I wanted to make sure that I was following along here as far yeah. as like and Kairos is likely to go back to waiting. Not sure yet. Yeah. Cool. Um, so let, let's move them to waiting. Um, we're requesting an update from Tag Runtime. All right. Okay. Uh, just, you know, I was just looking uh, briefly over how they use Linux in their thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they're pulling from external sources. They're not actually including anything in their own code. So I wouldn't necessarily expect there to be a licensing issue, although I would love to send that to an actual attorney. Okay. Um, so Kairos is uh, going to be put on hold, same time frame, about a week for that comment back in order for us to determine next steps associated with the project. Okay, uh, Silver Surfer, anybody take a look at this one and would like to provide comments, feedback? Can we go back to coordinator first? Don't want yep. mix, like, <laughs> please do not lose. <laughs> Sorry. Form an orderly queue, kind of. Amy, what specifically are you looking for with coordinator? Where is our next steps? Um, 
Ricardo Aravena is going to provide a summarization on Great. this sandbox application within one week so that the TOC can make an appropriate determination on next steps of either moving it to a vote or requesting more information from the project. Okay, move to waiting. Silver Surfer, back to you. Awesome. I have right. comments on Silver Surfer. Okay, go ahead, Karina. They did present to Tag App Delivery. Um, it's a smaller project. We thought that it it would be interesting. However, um, it may be better as part of core Kubernetes. So that's kind of a question. But it is a smaller project and there is precedence with Erasure, Eraser, I mean. So the question was, should they present to SIG CLI or go ahead and approve because there is a similar project in the CNCF. Thank you, Karina. Kathy, you're off mute. Yeah, I, I think it's, yeah, I agree with um, that comment. It's a small project and it's, it's about you know, upgrade communities you know, from one version to another version. I think it's good to present to uh, the API, group, group API, uh, seek to see whether it's a better fit on to that community because it is just about Kubernetes. Okay, how does the rest of the TOC feel about those recommendations, Ricardo? I was just gonna say, I've seen a lot of people writing their own tools for this sort of thing. So I I don't know if it fits in the CNCF as an independent project, but there's clearly a lot of end users developing their own things to do exactly this. I'm sure upgrade pass. Correct. So I don't know. I I know of two other small projects that have not been uh, pushed to the since you have to try to do some other things. Duffy, thoughts, opinions. I don't, I mean, it'll be. I I have a hard time believing that Six Eli will pick it up, given the current. You think there's there's like a new adopter of Six of of CLI and all that work. But at the same time, I do think it probably would be good for them to have that conversation before we vote. Okay. Why Why would it be a SIG CLI and not SIG cluster lifecycle? Maybe it is a good for a cluster lifecycle, yeah. One way or the other, though, having that conversation and understanding whether that's possible before voting on it, I think makes sense. Okay. Um, in the interest of trying to be more efficient with the project's time and the TOC's time, let's say that they do go and have that conversation with a uh, cluster lifecycle and they say no. Are we expecting the project to come back and reapply and that we'll accept them? It depends on how much further they've gone with the project at that time. Okay, that's a fair dependency. Um, TOC members, is it sufficient to send them over to cluster lifecycle to have that discussion on whether or not they should be included before returning back to us for a decision? If it's not favorable. I think my one big concern with that would be Ricardo's point that there are multiple similar things. So like, what, what do we do with that? This project plus four others all go to SIG CLI. We maybe agree that there should be something like this in that SIG, but not four different ones. And I imagine that SIG will then either defer back to us or find some other place to help figure out which thing it should be. So to your point about wasting people's time, I'm kind of picturing this turning into a circular conversation of no one wanting to king make one of these projects, but I don't know what the right answer then is. So we don't have to select one, but I do think they need to say what additive value or distinction that they're making between the other four within there. So I don't believe like we're picking a king out of them, but I think your point is well taken. If they're all providing the same functionality and not very distinguishable from each other. I don't know. We, we've we never had to figure out how we solve what I would say is like a tie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think it's different <laughs> if it's a CNCF project or it's mm -hmm. some part of a Kubernetes SIG. Like I think we have uh, whatever we call them competing projects within the CNCF, but I imagine Kubernetes doesn't want competing sub projects. So that's what I meant by king making. Like if they're the first one and SIG CLI accepts them, then what does that mean for all the other ones if they raise their hand the next day and say like, why are those guys special? 
So let me it's, ask. Go ahead, Duffy. Sorry, this is like really Kubernetes specific, though. Like, so I don't. So I, I would be inclined to say probably not for inclusion. Like it's, so it's all it's. Yeah. So he, I think these are all valid points. My, let me ask a different question then. Do we believe that this kind of functionality needs to be embedded within Kubernetes as a default feature set? And at that point, if that's the case, is this worthwhile to provide competition between, or if that is not true, is this worthwhile to provide a competition space between projects to fulfill this need for adopters? Like, is there value in having multiple projects like this underneath of the CNCF as independent projects, or is this a fundamental capability that needs to exist within Kubernetes? It's that second thing. So Duffy says the second thing. Others? Okay, my, my, my take is if it's just for Kubernetes, I think it's good to host this on the Kubernetes. I think this also, uh, there's also another question, uh, which we, I think we, as far as I remember, we touched before, for very small scope projects, uh, if it's not related to Kubernetes, I mean, should, how we should handle it, handle it? I think previously we we discussed, maybe we should have another category for very small projects. Yeah, we're not there yet though. We have a lot of cleanup to do before we can start exploring that category. Um, all right. In the interest of time and to bring this conversation to closure, um, is there a TOC member that is willing to provide a recommendation right up to a uh, cluster lifecycle to request that um, they evaluate this project for potential inclusion as the TOC feels fundamentally this should be a core capability within Kubernetes instead of an independent standalone CNCF project? I can do that. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Go ahead and assign this to you. Maybe just one additional thing is in case Kubernetes doesn't take it, is there something that they could change that would make it uh, take it in the approach they have to validating releases? Because that would be interesting uh, how they validate these API changes. Is there a reason why this would be taken as it is? Is the approach not correct? Um, Things like this. Could be interesting when, feedback. Yeah. When you all accepted Eraser, one of the reasons for accepting Eraser as an independent project was that Eraser had plans to expand its capabilities beyond Kubernetes components um, yeah. uh, in, in the ability to erase other things within the cloud native ecosystem. Um, so similarly uh, with Silver Surfer, if it had the ability to upgrade things beyond Kubernetes components, it would make it more obviously an independent project. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Josh, for that additional clarification. Okay. Um, Ricardo and Josh, when Kathy provides the comment on Silver Surfer, if you all could uh, provide that additional insight that you shared here on the call for the project so that they have a clear understanding around um, a little bit more background in the TOC's decision. Awesome, thank you. All right, Silver Surfer is not moving to a vote. Um, Amy, let's put that one in I put it in waiting for the moment because there's a few in there and then we'll sort out where exactly it needs to go. I'll put okay. a tag of need it needs info on it. Yep. That sounds cool. good to me. Um, next one is bank vaults. Um, so I took a look at this project. Um, it's a set of tools covering many aspects of secrets management in the cloud native ecosystem. However, it specifically uh, integrates with HashiCorp vault. Um, so my primary concern with this project, and this is a known issue in the ecosystem, is we don't have a um, comprehensive secrets management solution within open source. Um, right now, HashiCorp Vault is kind of the de facto that most organizations um, have integrated with, and this certainly makes that easier for running on top of Kubernetes. However, accepting this project might provide favoritism to HashiCorp um, vault as a solution space. So as the project exists right now, I'm not 
comfortable accepting it into the CNCF unless they integrate with other secrets management solutions that are out there, both commercial and any open source ones that would exist. Justin, you came off mute. Yeah, I mean, and especially uh, since this applied, HashGold Vault is no longer open source. Correct. So, I mean, I think in general, we've refused projects that only integrate with a single closed source project in the past. And, and so you're saying that would be consistent. Okay. I, think um, we, I mean, we have technically accepted projects that integrate, for example, with multiple cloud providers that are closed source, but not a single cloud provider in general has been our kind of line. Yeah. Um, so LF Edge is actually working on an open source alternative to Vault. Um, if they release that, then that could potentially unstick this project. But right now okay. there's no code. Yep. Okay. Um, so I will take the action to provide uh, comments and feedback to the project. Uh, but based off of this discussion, TOC members, are we comfortable moving this one to a vote? I would say no, I agree with you. Unless, yeah. So is that a yes to go to vote? But we are all of the consensus that since the project only integrates with one closed source solution, they may reapply in the future if they integrate with other solutions. I would concur with that. OK. That feels like a postponed rather than a vote directly. OK. Thank you for the clarification, Amy. So we'll okay. move this one to postpone. And I have the action to provide the summarization back to the project. Perfect. Thank you. IFLOW Core. Any TOC member take a look at this project and have any insights to share on it? Or any tag chairs? Um, they did present to Tag App Delivery. It is a business process management project, um, cloud native architecture, um, automates workflows. Um, recommendation is that it would be a good fit. My only question on that is similar to the project that Justin looked at. It looks pretty early. It has something like 20-ish commits, and I think across the couple of projects that are adjacent to it, it is up to like 40-ish commits. So like, what's the bar for activity in the project beyond just um, like fit with the ecosystem for acceptance at this level? Um, so I would like to see them do more community work, um, but there are other projects that have similar um, commits. They would like to donate so that they can get more contributions. So it doesn't look very old either. Yeah, I think it's seven months old or something like that. So will we like to see them come back in six months to a year with additional contributions and more community? See some head nods? I mean, for what it's worth in that commit count, it does look like it was an internal project that they open sourced because the first commit is quite large. Yeah. So we're comfortable moving this one um, to waiting or time dependent postpone. I think postpone is the right category, right, Amy? Yeah, postpone would be the right one. Come back right. when you have more. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, is there a TOC member that's willing to provide a comment on their application to that effect? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Duffy. Excellent. OK. Uh, I'm probably going to ruin the pronunciation of this, but I'm assuming it's KSAR. Is a low-level container runtime that provides sandbox container solutions. Is there a TUC member that uh, spent some time looking at this project and has any insights to share or any tag chairs or technical leads with insights?
think I presented in short time a long time ago. So. Hey. Yeah, I looked at, actually I remember now, I looked at this a while back. Um I'm just trying to um I haven't really looked at it lately, so I won't be able to comment that much. Um Kathy, it looks like you might have been in that tag run time meeting where this project was presented. Yeah, so yeah, we, are we, we're talking about the Corsa project, right? Yes. Yeah, I think you know it is a a, a useful project. It provides a um, you know abstraction APIs on top of all the different uh, um, container sandbox technologies. So it also, you know, underneath it provides, you know, uh, built-in support for, you know, the uh, lifecycle management. I think it's a very interesting project and its scope is large. Yeah, I, I think I would be supportive of going to a vote on that. It seems reasonably mature and interesting. Okay. Do we need a formal recommendation from Tag Runtime associated with this project? Or did it move it to a vote? Or are we comfortable with the information that's been presented thus far and is captured in the meeting notes for the tag run time meeting where it was presented? I think it, it's good to, to for a vote. It has it's, it's has quite enough information, I think, to justify it. Okay. I see some head nods. Agreement. All right. So Kesar to a vote. All right, uh, next up is CubeBurner. Is there a TOC member that took a look at this one and has any insights to share or any tag chair uh, recommendations, comments? Raina, you came off mute. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's, it lists, they're good for tag observability as well as tag runtime or not tag runtime, tag app delivery. They did come present at tag app delivery and they do help fill a gap in that they are a testing framework for, um, workloads at scale. So, um, the re recommendation is that they would be a good fit. Any other thoughts, opinions? I think it provides, yeah, I think it provides very useful, um, uh, how to say, useful functionalities. Yeah, it, you know, it provides a, a tool to, that you can easily design tests to evaluate the performance and scale of the Kubernetes platform. Okay. Of course, it's also related to Kubernetes platform. I think it's always large. All right. Are we comfortable moving this one to a vote? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Amy, Cube Burner goes to a vote. That means we got seven. We got one last one coming up. Rainforest. Okay. All right, Rainforest. Any, uh, Justin, you assigned yourself this one. Oh uh, yeah, this was another one that was really, really early, to, to way too early. Okay. So I think um, we can just tell them to come back later. Yep. Uh, it looks like Josh, you had some outstanding questions for the project that they've not had a chance yet to respond to. Um, so let's have them answer those questions and come back and revisit in about a year. Does that make sense for them, yeah. Justin? Yeah. And Josh. All right. I'll move them to postponed. If you can add that to the comments, that'd be perfect. Um, we have some time. Do we want to start looking at the other queue, Emily? I think it's worthwhile to do that. Yeah. So. Okay. Awesome. All right. So let's see here. Cube slice. Let's try these two. Uh, Justin Cormac, can you provide those comments back to the project for the one year to revisit with answering those questions um, for Rainforest? Thank you. All right. Cube slice. It's a multi cluster networking application for pod to pod communication across clusters. Let's take a look at the project. Okay. 
Uh, looks like they've got a lot of commits as of three months ago, but not a lot of information in their readme. And looks like they've got some bad links. Okay. Um, am I wrong that this project is just a set of Helm charts? That's kind of what it looks like right now. Well, they have a controller and a worker. Um, I would like to send this project over to Tag Network to get some better insights and clarity on what it is and what it's trying to accomplish. How does the rest of the TOC feel? That's okay. kind of what I was typing up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And Josh, to answer your question, it looks like their main project is the Helm chart that installs a number of other sub projects, like their controller, they have a search okay. generator, things like that. Well, yeah, it, it provides, uh, you know, the part to part communication across clusters, not within the same cluster. Uh, I think it's a very interesting project, but I agree, you know, we can you know, get the uh, input from the tag in that one. Okay. The, link, the link they provide for the organization has um, yeah, all the components. Yeah. It's pretty extensive. Yeah. Okay, I will move them to waiting and have tag network come back in. And Emily, it looks like you've just signed yourself to be able to do the, exactly that comment. Yep. Cool. Can we take uh, connect? Oh, sorry. I'll let you finish. Uh, let's see here. Waiting. Yep. Cool. All right. So that's cube slice. Let's go to connect. Connect is a simple cross-language framework for protobuf RPC. We're building strongly typed APIs, commonly used as protocol buffers and implementations. Got a couple of different ones. It looks like it's just the org with a ton of repos. So we've got everything. Okay. They're looking to use or leverage the cloud native ecosystem for connect to outgrow buff. Tag app delivery. Have you seen this project yet or not yet? Not yet. Okay. TUC members. It's, it's, there's a comment from Lane, I think. But this was really that tag network. Okay. It's yeah. not it's not used in any projects at the moment. It's oh, I mean you're not used by any projects. And so it's got no connectivity to any other project. Yeah. I mean, for what it's worth, there's a few of these out there. Um in in terms of sort of API languages. Um, and I expect that we will see more applications in the future from similar projects. Uh, that doesn't say whether we should accept it or not. I'm just saying that that if, particularly if we do accept it, we'll expect to see more. I mean, we were somewhat uncertain at one point in the discussion of whether gRPC f f would we should regard yeah. it as fitting in our scape at all. I think <laughs> during the graduation discussion, Discussion. I mean, it's, it's although that's but that's widely used in CNCF, whereas this actually isn't widely used or used at all by any project. Also, it doesn't look like they responded really to Lin Sun's comment. No. Is it worthwhile then 
so let me ask a different question. Um, do we feel like this project is worth experimentation within the CNCF or is it better to have them spend some time, um, provide closer integrations with CNCF projects um, for use, similar to how gRPC is commonly used within cloud native, um, and then apply it incubation when they reach that level of maturity? Aaron, you came off mute. I guess it's, if we're just encouraging sandbox to be sandbox without a path to incubation, then it makes sense to experiment, but it's really hard for it to stand on its own. It's interesting, but I agree it, it would have a very, I can't see a clear path to incubation with the current state, but yeah. It depends on how, what kind of bar we want to hold for our sandbox. Josh, you have a hand. Yeah, I, I think this is also raises another policy question for the TOC. Um, there's kind of a minor ecosystem out there with API tools, which obviously have some utility for cloud native, but it's an area that the CNCF has not sort of expanded into yet. Um, and I think the TOC should probably decide whether or not we should, and it may need to get its own working group. The, uh, I'll, I'll turn it over to Karina, but I believe it, TAG uh, App Delivery has brought up an API working group request in the past. Karina? Um, yes, that's what I was going to mention. Um, at the last TOC meeting, we did bring that up, and the recommendation was that we look at expanding the TAG scope. Um, to clarify um, APIs within the tag versus creating a new working group right now. What would be nice is if Connect came to tag up delivery and um, spoke with us about the API work and what we're talking through with APIs. So see some head nods. Okay, so next steps for this project's application. Let's we're going to send them to Tag App Delivery to talk um, through. Go ahead, Justin. I'm actually curious about why Tag Network thinks it's a fit for networking, though, because maybe like if they've got a good argument, I might I might be supportive from that point of view as well. I mean, I'm happy to see it goes Tag App Delivery right yeah. here, but I'm not. I'm I'm more skeptical. It's an app delivery piece uh, than I am a quick networking question. piece. <laughs> Who handles gRPC today? Which tag? Um, I, 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 I'm going to go with uh, none. Uh, you probably none. And, uh, <laughs> but I think, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But not yeah, formally. I think it's uh, more with, yeah, I think it's more with that tag network, in my opinion. Okay. So how do we want to proceed with this? Because there, there's the API component. Tag Network has already performed a review on it. What would we like to do with this project? We've had a couple of different comments and points. Clearly, it's not ready to move to a vote, but I would like to be able to move them somewhere in our queue of work. I think and if Tag App Delivery is asking for, you know, for them to come and present, then that's the right thing, no matter what. But I would love a description from Tag Network of how it fit, how they, how and why they feel it fits into network into their scope. I mean, okay. yeah, which you, I, I think that would be useful. Do they say that they support it? Oh, yeah, I guess they did. Yeah, okay, never mind. Okay, this one goes to waiting. What's the next step here? I know we've kind of wandered around. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we want them to go talk to Tag. Net app delivery on this project. Uh, yep. Karina, can you coordinate reaching out to the project um, to make sure that you all are getting the presentation that you're looking for from them with regard to the API components? Um, I've tagged Lynn to provide clarification on how it fits within the scope of Tag Network. Um, anything else associated with this project? It sounds like we still, we have some feedback that we're going to need in order for us to make a decision. Um, 
before moving forward, but is there any additional insights that we would like to have from the project or from either of the tags so that the next time we see it, we can make a decision? I, I would personally like to see more integration with cloud native projects, Ricardo. I was just going to say, because if you click that merge request that is linked there, update preferences to connect our gRPC on the F1 proxy. I was just going through it. This is a new Envoy, and they added a bunch of references to, to this project there. Okay. They so might be working on that. Okay. It's so, unclear, but sorry. No, it, it's it's good insight. So what we'll do, um, may perhaps have them update their application with more detail on those cloud native integrations, specific, particularly with um, Envoy specifically in any of the other projects. They should, does that sound good? Okay. Um, let's see, who's the, all right. Update the integrations. <clears throat> you got about five minutes. Yeah. Um, I think I would like to call it good for the applications that we have today. Um, how do others feel unless you want to try to get through one more? Next one would be Atlantis. It's an app delivery. Yes. So kind of up to you. Like pull it up. All right. Questions, comments? This looks like Terraform pull request automation. Uh, Same comment about Vault integration. Okay. Heard about Terraform integration there, just only Terraform and open token integration. Looks like maybe okay. there was a presentation on December 6th. Um, so they, they did come present to tag app delivery. Um, this is where I'm remembering. We had a long discussion about Terraform and whether they should be in open tofu or in, um, CNCF. Um, but they do support, um, open tofu as well as, um, HashiCorp Terraform. Okay. So we didn't have an official recommendation whether it should be in the CNCF pending. So it'd be great to hear your thoughts on things like that. DOC members. So your question was like whether it should be a part of open tofu or whether mm -hmm. if it integrates with open tofu whether we would consider it a project within the cncf well whether it'd be better to ask them to integrate with open tofu however they would like to support not just open tofu but also um hashicorp terraform so they would rather be in the cncf so that it's not just open tofu mm -hmm. Josh, I'm going to raise another question here, which is because we hadn't gotten to this. I wasn't expecting to get to this project and even look at it before. Um, is this project cloud native? Yeah, it integrates with Argo CD. <coughs> it, um, it appeared cloud native. And I wasn't ready to talk about it today, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, it's just. It, it obviously can integrate with some cloud native tools, but it also integrates with presumably a number of non cloud native DevOps tools. Um, the um, well, there's a number uh, of projects that do yeah. both as well. It, it's just one of the questions I think we should answer about the project. Um, I feel like we're rushing things on this. We should let this one go. And yeah, yeah I agree. Um, Which is great. I Our like next meeting is going to be January 23rd, so we have plenty of time to be able to pick up here where we'd left off. 
Yeah. So uh, Tag App Delivery, if you all could provide a recommendation associated with this project or additional insights um, and, and uh, further comments, I do think it's worthwhile to get better clarity on whether or not the project truly really is cloud native um, and a fit for the ecosystem. There's a few areas of this that um, I think we just need to spend some more time on. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, one, one comment about this project is that this project is, uh, I've used this project before, and it's just like um, Terraform Enterprise Cloud, uh, but the open source version of that. Uh, so I, I think as long as it, as it actually supports uh, Untofu, it will be it will be good. I think the concern there is that Terraform business license, I think, but the only integration. Okay. But yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so we got through a lot of projects today. We've got our next uh, sandbox application meeting coming up in January. Right, Amy? I know you just said that. Cool. January 23rd. All right. Uh, TOC members and tag chairs for the next sandbox application review meeting, please grab a sandbox application, spend some time doing research on the project, asking questions. That way, when we have another one of these, we can speedily go through all of the projects again. Our backlog is getting quite long because we are popular. So please, please, please sign yourself, provide comments, insights, updates, so that we can have a fruitful conversation in the new year. All right. If I don't see you all before then, please enjoy your holiday break and we'll see you later. Enjoy the rest Happy of your day. Holidays.